Beerus was created and designed by Akira Toriyama for Dragon Ball Super using his own cat as inspiration. The character was first introduced in Battle of the Gods as the all-powerful god of destruction, also known as a destroyer. In the Dragon Ball universe, there are 12 different universes, each with their own deities to manage them. Beerus oversees Universe 7 as the almighty God of Destruction, which also happens to be Goku's universe. But what is a God of Destruction, and what does he do? In the world of Dragon Ball, each universe follows a hierarchy. As an oversimplification, it begins with mortals like the main cast of Dragon Ball, then you have your Kais, then your Supreme Kais acting as the Gods of Destruction, and above them you have the God of Destruction and his or her angel counterpart. Beerus is not the highest in the hierarchy, but he is tasked with maintaining balance in the universe he resides in. While he may not look it, Beerus has actually lived for hundreds of millions of years and was trained by his angel master Whis. As a God of Destruction, Beerus can harness destruction energy, which is capable of destroying anything, and uses it to destroy planets, races, or any other threats to their universes. As a god of destruction, Beerus' abilities all have one thing in mind, to destroy. However, Beerus was designed for an anime and manga, so there is less limitations to the depiction of his power. In fact, Beerus' design goal was to be all-powerful, and as such is equipped with many abilities the Z Fighters already have, such as the mastery of energy via sense or key blasts, flight, and an insane amount of strength. However, the energy Beerus wields isn't the same as the other characters have traditionally used. He has the complete control of destruction energy. This energy does exactly what you think it does. It can be used as a key blast to blow up planets or used directly on a foe. Beerus can use destruction energy so seamlessly that even his sneezes have caused planets to blow up. That's not all he can do. Having lived millions of years as the god of destruction, Beerus has learned to infuse his destruction energy around him when powering up through a form known as Fury. However, the most iconic and powerful of his abilities is the dreaded Hakai, a move so deadly that it disintegrates his foes after merely pronouncing the word. Most of Beerus' abilities harness the power of destruction energy, but he does have a few other notable techniques. Beerus is capable of sealing his opponent using a sealing spell, which he performed on the old Kai, sealing him inside of the Z-Sword after the two had an argument. The Kai would have stayed sealed in the sword permanently if it hadn't been for Gohan accidentally breaking it many years later. Unsurprisingly, Beerus is indeed all-powerful, but does he have a weakness? To follow the laws set in Dragon Ball's deity hierarchy, a god of destruction must have a lifelink to a Supreme Kai. Meaning that should Beerus die, the Supreme Kai would be destroyed, but more importantly, should the Supreme Kai be killed, then the lifelink would also destroy the linked god of destruction, regardless of the power they contain. You'd think with all that destruction power, Beerus would be brimming with energy, but he was actually designed to be a lazy cat with a short temper quelled only by delicious food. So who has he fought to showcase his power? To be honest, we haven't seen much, but what we have been shown has been pretty convincing. In his introductory feature film Battle of the Gods, he threatens to blow up Earth unless Goku finds a Super Saiyan God. Upon finding the means to transform Goku to that level, the two clash and Beerus mentions he only reached 60% of his potential. Despite not being at full power, his fight with Goku sends energy rippling throughout the universe, putting it all at risk. Similarly, Beerus would fight Vegeta as Super Saiyan Blue, the next level of Super Saiyan God, and despite having more power than what Goku used in his fight, Beerus was able to take out Vegeta without a sweat. So clearly, Beerus is still holding back quite a lot of power. We know Beerus can take down the highest levels of Super Saiyan, but he's also demonstrated how frightening his strength can be after his encounter with Zamasu, a Supreme Kai in training for Universe 10. Knowing full well Zamasu would mess with the fabric of time in the future, Beerus meets with present day Zamasu, raises one hand, and whispers, Hakai. Within seconds, we witness Zamasu, who would ultimately become a god of creation, disintegrate before our very eyes. That is the power of a god of destruction. It's interesting how Toriyama's cat started as a pet and would become the inspiration to one of the most powerful characters in all of Dragon Ball. With destruction energy at his side, Beerus can Hakai and goodbye anyone or anything, but as long as you have delicious food by your side, Beerus will always keep it cute.